What is up guys, it's Gathalion, and we're back here in Borderlands 2 to talk about Destiny and Borderlands and how they compare to each other. Recently on Twitch and Twitter and um, YouTube, I've been asked a lot about how Borderlands stacks up to Destiny, why they're even in the same conversation, are they similar, how are they different, which one do I like better, and I'm gonna try to answer all, if not most of these questions in the best fashion that I can. Now, before I start, I will tell you the gear that I'm using because every time I do one of these videos, someone asks me, hey, why does your shield not recharge? I'm using a Love Thumper and it has over three minutes of recharge delay, which means the shield is constantly down and my roid damage is constantly up. Anyways, that has nothing to do with today's commentary. We're talking about Destiny. Am I liking Destiny? Because yes, the Alpha is out. For PlayStation 4 right now, it is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, the Alpha, so no, PlayStation 3 doesn't have access to it. Xbox One does not have access to it. The beta will be on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I don't think that the beta is actually gonna be on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 will have exclusive content rolling out to it first, but that content will be eventually rolling out to Xbox as well. So Xbox guys, don't worry. Um, the, the PlayStation doesn't look like it's gonna have much, if any, content that it, it only gets and you don't. So, Destiny versus Borderlands 2. Let's talk about what they have in common. Both games are looter shooters, meaning they are first person shooters with RPG mechanics in them, such as individual gun stats, player stats, player skill trees, and character growth. These are all things that add up to make for a pretty addictive experience, and I think a big reason that the Borderlands community has hung on to the game for so long, because frankly, there hasn't been much out there that really compares. There's been games that have tried to be similar, like uh, uh, Defiance, and also um, Far Cry had some, uh, some, some similarities, but um, it wasn't really the full looter shooter experience that we gotten to know for um, Borderlands. Also, um, Firefall. Firefall is kind of similar in the realm that it is, it's more of an MMO than a, than a, uh, than a uh, FPS RPG like we're used to, these looter shooters. And this year, we're actually seeing a few AAA budget looter shooters coming out. We got Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Destiny, and The Division. And The Division is a game that I'm also going to be playing on my channel. I will tell you guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of content on Destiny because I feel like it is right up the alley of the Borderlands community, and it is a game that I'm really enjoying. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say it. I, I love this game. I think Destiny is incredibly complex, and there is a lot of room here for a really deep, rich community. A really deep, rich community. Unfortunately, while streaming on Twitch, there have been some bad eggs that come in from the COD and the old Halo community. I'm not saying all of the old community is bad, but there we all know that there were some bad eggs inside the Halo community that um, use really derogatory language and make the experience not so fun for everybody else. And you are gonna run into a situation here because Destiny does have competitive multiplayer in it that there's gonna be people that actually frown on the PVE portion of it, the player versus environment portion of it. And that portion is actually really, really good. Um, it's it's really engrossing. And um, it, I, I really hope that uh, the community does expand like Borderlands' community, and we can get um, both the competitive side and the non-competitive side together in one one cohesive click, that would be awesome. But let's get back to talking about the two games. So they are similar in the fact that they both have loot and it's and there's RPG mechanics. Um, let, me, let me speak to you guys uh, about whether or not you should give the game the time of day. Um, if you did not like combat in Halo, you probably won't like the combat in Destiny. It's very similar shooting mechanics. Uh, the AI is actually, um, I know that there was some videos of alpha footage where the AI kind of looks stupid, but in the strikes, the AI works together, it flanks you, and at times it makes you absolutely work as a team. Uh, the game, it can be played solo. Um, there are open world areas. I believe there are five total like continent type situations in the game and each of the five continents is said to be as big as halo reach in its full form um 
You can play the game solo, but I don't believe the game is meant to be played solo, as Destiny does have some MMO properties to it. Uh, it reminds me of if Borderlands and, like, Fantasy Star Online had a baby. It's not an MMO in the sense of how World of Warcraft is an MMO. It's more of an MMO in the sense of how Fantasy Star Universe and Fantasy Star Online were MMOs, where you go out onto strike missions or you go out into the open zones, because strike missions are their own little instances where you will only have your strike team with you. Uh, strike teams can be in a size of three, and I've actually seen boss fights, raid fights, with up to nine um, players in it, so that would be a total of three strike teams. I don't know exactly how those mechanics work in it, because there is only one strike currently. Um, let's, let's compare strikes to, like, how dungeons work in World of Warcraft, where there's smaller group, and each of them has a couple bosses within. Uh, the boss fights in Destiny are already better, in my opinion. These are all my opinions. They're better than those of Borderlands 2. Uh, you have to work as a team. When you die, it's usually your fault. And um, while they are still working out bugs, I, I've heard of bosses actually going 100% immune. I haven't run into that myself. But I have done the current one instance, which is uh, the Devil's Lair, on both um, the, the normal difficulty, which is called Brave, and then Legendary difficulty. I don't know if there's anything beyond Legendary, but Legendary was pretty challenging. Baru and I uh, ran one with the two of us, and then with a random, a random joiner, which kind of sucked because we didn't have him on voice chat because both of us were on Skype. But the legendary encounter was actually pretty challenging. It was a good time, but it wasn't challenging for stupid reasons. Um, so let's get back to comparing the two games. Uh, I personally, if the alpha is any indication of how the writing is going to be inside Destiny, then Borderlands 2 is going to win hands down for clever writing and storytelling. But something tells me that the, the dialogue and storytelling in the alpha is not indicative of what we're going to see from the beta and in the final release. So I'm going to hold off my final verdict on that. If you're into silly games, then I don't think Destiny is really going to do it for you. Borderlands 2 does have that silly um, uh, anti-hero over-the-top charm, as where Destiny is more of a, a serious tone, as you kind of expect from Bungie games if you've ever played Halo. It is a game that kind of takes itself very seriously, and while I do enjoy this, most of uh, the Borderlands community may not, or maybe they will. I know we have a lot of Halo fans in the Borderlands community. Um, we're going to talk about competitive multiplayer and how well that works on Destiny. Right now, it's pretty unbalanced. Uh, as it is alpha, I am still holding off all of my reviews on it. Um, but it, it is pretty unbalanced. I think they're trying to see what uh, weapon combinations players use, but I have a lot of faith in, Des uh, in, um, in Bungie for putting together a good um, co uh, uh, competitive multiplayer experience. I think that'll end up being pretty good, to be honest with you. And what's fun about the competitive multiplayer is with wins and even losses, you get uh, you get marks in it. You get marks that you could then spend on gear that is specifically for player versus player stuff that'll make you more survivable and do more um, damage against um, against other players. So I think I think the competitive multiplayer will end up being a pretty good experience. But right now, like I said, it's it's pretty unbalanced. Uh, let's go back to the player versus environment. Uh, stuff the uh, the strikes look to be really fun and if they could keep them relatively varied then I think we could have a lot of replay value on our hands uh, like I said when you're not doing strikes you can actually go out into open world zones on your own or with your strike team and that's where you can run into more players uh, I've had about uh, eight to nine players in a single area at once fighting stuff there are randomized world events where they'll actually drop down quasi raid bosses or mini bosses on you while you're playing uh, you'll get a notification that a world event is happening and then it'll drop stuff down on you that's something that destiny is doing really well is randomized events because it is sort of a quasi massively multiplayer online game uh, it's not like i said it's not an mmo in the same sense of world of warcraft because it's not one seamless world everybody's playing together but 
you can um, get a lot of people in one area at once and randomly encounter other people. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Um, I will give it that. There is a central hub city, which is something I always wanted to see for Borderlands, where I've seen up to about 20 to 30 people in the central area at once. Uh, trading will not be active at launch of Destiny, but uh, I, I down, that down the road, they did say that w there will be trading. So I do see a, um, the central city as sort of a, um, like a, an epicenter of, of social shit that's going on inside of Destiny. And I have a lot of high hopes for that. Um, so th those, are, those are some of the features inside Destiny. And I'm going to go over more in future videos. If you have anything specifically you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comments below. So let's get let's get to the nitty gritty. Is Destiny gonna be better than Borderlands? Um, I think they're different games. I think they're different games, and I don't think it necessarily needs to be a competition between the two. I think I think both games can exist um, independent of each other, and it's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, Destiny, I think, uh, will actually have a longer life cycle than Borderlands, just because of how active uh, Bungie has said they're going to be with updating the game. I think Bungie said they wanted the, the Destiny um, Destiny to, to last 10 years. I don't know if that's just for this current iteration of Destiny or Destiny and then uh, future expansion packs for it. But I do think Destiny is going to have more replay value than Borderlands does. Um, like I said, it has a lot more um, randomness to the events that happen in the game. Uh, we haven't really gotten to scratch the surface too much of what's going on in the loot system. So currently, Borderlands 2 has a much more vibrant loot system, though Destiny, you do have multiple equip slots. You have uh, head armor, chest armor, legs, and um, you also have a primary, a heavy, and a sidearm that you keep on you. There are three weapon types you keep on you. So the equipable slots are a little bit different than Borderlands, so I feel like Borderlands uh, gives you a little bit more um, flexibility with the gear that you carry as far as like your weaponry, but um, equipable slots. I think Destiny um, has a, a little bit more as far as armor and stuff because uh, Borderlands just frankly has shields, but um, your shields are sort of tied to your armor in Destiny. So I'm not, I'm on the fence. I'm not willing to say that one is better than the other, but I'm willing to say that I love Destiny and I think it's gonna be an absolute amazing game. Um, if you aren't on the same bus with that, I think that's fine. Destiny might not be for you. You might be hardcore Borderlands fan and not really want to stray to another game, which I totally understand. I get that. I'm not in that boat. I, I feel like I want something different. I absolutely love Borderlands, but I'm ready for more looter shooters on the scene. And I don't think um, more choices of flavors of ice cream is ever a bad thing. You know, like I like I like strawberry cheesecake ice cream, but you know, I'm glad the other flavors are there in case I want them. You know what I mean? So if you guys could get on board with that, hopefully um, we could get a little bit of Destiny going on this channel. You guys have known for a long time that I intend to do a lot of Destiny content, and I will continue to do so. So as a as a strong verdict, I, I'm not I'm not willing to say one is better than the other, but I'm willing to say that both are amazing, and this is going to be an absolutely awesome year for looter shooters. And I hope you guys will be there right along with me. If you're in the Destiny Alpha, leave a leave a message. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking, um, in the comment section below. What you want to see added. And keep in mind, it is still very alpha. Um, there's like, I'd say about 95% of the features are still locked away and not working right now, just because they want to keep their cards close to their chest. Anyways, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you back in Borderlands and Destiny. And no, I am never giving up Borderlands. I love this franchise. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I hope to be here for a long time. I'll see ya.